thanks for joining me today. We're going to begin in an easy, comfortable pose seated on your mat. Feel free to choose what that looks like for you. I'm just going to sit with my legs in front of me in easy pose. We're going to start by just taking a deep breath. So deep breath in, exhale in again, inhale, exhale. Before we begin, I want you to consider what has brought you here on your mat today. What is your goal or your focus? Find a word that resonates with you that you're going to think about all throughout your day today. I'm going to choose a mantra, which is, I am healthy, I am happy, I am focused. Feel free to repeat that with me at this time. I am healthy, I am happy, I am focused. Once more, I am healthy, I am happy, I am focused. Now, deep breath in, exhale. We're going to roll our shoulders gently forwards two times. One more time. Bring them down and reverse the movement. Roll your shoulders back. Remember to breathe once more. Roll your shoulders down. Feel them moving down away from your ears in a relaxed position. Next, we're going to reach our hands over our head. Bring your left hand down and move your right hand straight overhead looking up. Roll your shoulder back so your shoulders stay stacked and take a deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Reverse the movement. Bring your right arm down, left arm overhead and look up. Make sure that you're rolling your shoulder back and that your shoulders are stacked and breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Okay. One more time, bring your hands up overhead. Breathe out and bring your hands over to your chest in Anjali Mudra. Next, we're going to move into our uh, cat and cow pose. So let's come into our hands and knees tabletop position. You're going to bring your hands firmly rooted into the ground, fingers spread wide, and keep your hips directly over your knees. So we're just going to do some cat and cow positions. Cat pose, you're going to move, inhale, and put a slight arch in your back and look up. Exhale, reverse the movement and arch your back down and look down and exhale. So inhale, look up, slight bend in your back. Exhale, arch and into cow. Cat pose, look up. Cow pose, exhale. Feel free to play with this movement a little bit. So I'm going to move in a circle. So inhale, look up. Circular movement, rotate your back. Inhale, look up. Exhale, into cow pose. Now we're gonna come into a neutral position. So flatten your spine. Pull your abdomen up into your spine and feel your abs and core activate. Now you're going to stretch out your right leg directly behind you, root down into those toes, and then lightly rock forward and back. Feel that calf muscle activating. Work down into those toes. The ball of your foot is pointed straight up and just feel your core and your muscles activated. Feel that stretch. Deep breath in. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Bring your knee back, reverse the movement. Left foot back, feel your toes rooted into the ground. Your hands are strong in the ground. Make sure not to lock your elbows and rock back and forth a few times. Feel that calf muscle activating and then hold. Root down into those toes and breathe. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Bring your knee back to center. And we're gonna go straight into downward dog. So bring those toes underneath and raise those hips high. Feel free to keep your knees bent, especially if you have tight hamstrings. If you feel comfortable, 
we're just going to lock it out. So you're going to bend one knee while pushing the other heel into the ground and reverse. And just bend into those knees and feel that stretch. Breathe. Make sure your hands are spread wide. Root into those hands. Your elbows are pointed down. And just walk it out on the slide. A couple more times. Keep breathing. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now let's come to find stillness. Two breaths. Now, you're going to take a few steps to the front of your mat. Forward fold. Feel free to bend into those knees. And I want you to grab the opposite elbows and just sway side to side. Like a tree in the wind. Just relax. Feel those muscles relaxing. Bend into your head. Shake it out. Sway side to side. Come down to your fingertips. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Gently roll up to standing. Head is the last thing to come up. Roll those shoulders. Arms up over your head. Hands in prayer pose at your chest in Anjali Mudra. Hands up overhead. Hands in prayer pose and float down. Fingertips to the ground, forward fold. Halfway lift, make sure you straighten that spine, head straight out. Now we're gonna go into our uh, chaturanga. <laughs> so uh, if that's, if you're a beginner, I, I wanna make sure that you know how to do this the modified way. So bring your knees down, chest down, chin to the ground, elbows in tight, up in the cobra. Very light back bend. Now we're gonna come back down and raise up into downward dog by bringing those hips high. Root into those hands, press the heels down as much as you can. Feel free to keep your knees bent if your hamstrings are tight. And just breathe. Feel free to play in these positions a little bit. If you feel comfortable and strong in your stance, feel free to sway side to side. Feel that stretch in those hips and those calves. Breathe in and out. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to go through that flow two more times. Float or step to the front of your mat. Forward fold. Halfway lift, flat back. Forward fold. Slowly roll up to standing. Head is the last thing to come up. Arms up overhead. Prayer position at your chest, Anjali Mudra. Hands up overhead, float down. Forward fold. Come up halfway lift to flat back. Now we're going into Chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. So bring your knees down, chest down, float up into Cobra, slight back bend. Come all the way down and then lift yourself back, hips up into downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Floater step to the front of your mat. Forward fold. If you're comfortable, you can grab onto your ankles and pull yourself in. If you're tight, grab onto your knees, keep your knees bent, and keep your flat back. Now we're going to come up to halfway lift. Flat back, forward fold. Gently roll up to standing. That is the last thing to come up. Arms up overhead, hands at your chest in Anjali Mudra. Up one more time. Float down to forward fold. Halfway lift, forward fold. Step back. This time I'm going to show you how to do a regular chaturanga. So that's when you're in a uh, high plank. And if you feel comfortable, feel free to modify it and do ch uh, knees, chest, chin. Otherwise, follow me. Lower down and come up into a full upward dog. My knees and my hips are off the ground. My toes are rooted into the ground underneath. <laughs> I'd like to show you that. So I'm going to scoot forward a tiny bit so you can see. I mean that your toes are not flipped underneath. You're just on the tops of your feet. Hips are lifted off. So I'll scoot back again. 
upward dog, then flip your toes up into downward facing dog. Nicely done. Deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Float or step to the front of your mat. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Slowly rise up, arms overhead. Hands at your chest to Anjali Mudra. Now we're gonna play a little bit and we're gonna try some tree pose. So, it's important to remember when doing tree pose that you're never putting any sort of weight on your knee. So feel free to grab your ankle and bring your foot way up here. <laughs> it always takes me a second to find my balance. Bring your foot up high. Hands in Andrali Mudra. However, if you're unable to keep this pose, I want you to keep it low below your knee and just hold. Breathe in, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more breath, inhale, exhale. Arms up high, root down into those feet, stretch out your ankles, feel free to roll it out. Yes, okay. Ground down into those feet strong as a tree hands into prayer position at your heart we're going to go to the other side so feel free to <laughs> either go up high however if that's too much of a struggle for you to hold i want you to focus and bringing it down here below your knee press with the full weight of this foot into your leg and focus find your drishti point Find a spot either on the floor or directly in front of your gaze that you can focus on to help you keep your balance. A non-moving object in front of you to focus on. We're gonna do three breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more. Inhale, exhale. Ground down into those feet, shake it out. Arms up overhead, exhale, hands at your heart. One, once more, overhead and float down into forward fold. Very nicely done, halfway lift. And we're just gonna come into a child's pose. I'm gonna go back to the side so you can see me. Ground down into those hands, hips over your knees, and then glide back down. I prefer to have my knees very wide, sometimes as wide as the mat, toes are touching behind you. If you have trouble getting your hips all the way down, feel free to use a pillow or a block or a bolster. Now stretch out those arms in front of you as much as comfortable, and feel free to bring your head all the way down. If you're not comfortable bringing your head all the, all the way down, I want you to stack your fists like this. Otherwise, stretch out in front of you, three breaths, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Such a great counter pose and such a good feeling in the back to stretch it out. Child's pose is one of my favorite poses. Next, we're gonna come into a seated position on our mat and I'd like you to try butterfly pose. So I want you to bring the soles of your feet together. It's okay if your knees are up high. In fact, it might be helpful to grab some yoga blocks to keep under your knees so that you're comfortable in this position. Make sure that your spine is long and straight, crown of your head up, and then if you can, hold under your ankles or your feet and lean forward. And just hold this position just for a couple breaths. So in, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One last pose I want you to try is happy baby. It's one of my favorite positions because my hips get very tight and sore, especially from sitting all the time. So we're going to just lay right back onto our 
onto our back. Make sure that your spine is grounded all the way down, head down. Now, I want you to grab your ankles. If you're extremely flexible, feel free to grab your feet or your big toes. Otherwise, I want you to just hang onto your ankles, bend into your knees, and use your elbows to pull your legs apart. And just pull your knees down as much as you can. And I want you to rock side to side. Remember to breathe, breathe in, keep pulling down, and just focus on your breath. In and out, three breaths. One more, inhale, exhale, find stillness and hold this for just one more breath. Feel your knees pulling down. Bring your knees into your chest and just rock side to side. Feel free to roll your knees out and around. Rotate those hips and those knees. And then we're just gonna come up to an easy seated position. You're done. Now, before we sign off, I want you to take a minute and thank yourself for showing up on your mat. Anytime we take the time for ourselves, it's important to, to thank yourselves for showing up. It doesn't matter if it was five minutes, 10 minutes, or an hour. You took time for yourself today and that's important. So I just want you to remember that Remember that everyone is on their own journey. Where you are is where you are meant to be. It's okay if you're just getting started and you're not flexible and you're having trouble finding these poses in your body. Reach out to me if you have questions and I would be happy to help. So our mantra today is, I am happy, I am healthy, I am focused. Say it with me once more. I am healthy, I am happy, I am focused. This brings our arms up overhead hands in prayer position at our heart. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me today. Have a wonderful day.